the Bears coaches are on the bench. We, it appears, will be the home team today. And we will be playing a team from Seattle. I think some sort of combo, Kirkland something, something. It's all Seattle to me. Snow Kings, I think they're called. The rumor is that this tournament is the first time they have ever set foot on the ice this season because they were shut down over in Seattle for lots of it. I mean, that includes games and practices. First time they got on the ice was driving <laughs> over to northern Idaho, where I'm sure after being in Seattle with all of the restrictions, they're looking around in northern Idaho and going, what the fuck are all these trailer park people doing? They're like, no masks, they're just licking random strangers in Walmart. Just to spite the government. It's a strange place up here in northern Idaho. A buzz has sounded from the woman who has been running the clock the whole tournament. That means the officials are emerging. I don't think that the official that hates our guts is officiating this game, so that's good. Bears will be wearing their red jerseys. They're making their way to the bench now. The officials are on the ice. The Snow Kings are in their white jerseys waiting to be told they can skate over to their bench. Officials are going to set the nets. Seattle coaches are headed to their bench. Bears in pool play went two and one. They won against the Tri-Cities, I believe, 6-2 to two in the first game. And in that game, the officiating was uh, brutally one-sided against the Bears. The Bears made the officials mad, and one of the head officials hates our team. And so one of our best players got tossed, another one of our best players got injured and had to leave the game. And... Uh, the guy that got tossed, he had to serve a game, and then we played Cristeros, and Nick was in net, and we lost that game 5-1. to one. Uh, sure, sure could use Chad on that one. Players are hitting the ice for the warm-up. Then the Bears played Lewiston, which is uh, sort of a historic <laughs> rivalry. Moscow Bears in Lewiston when Jacob was playing. Oh, the hatred. Oh, my God. Those teams just hated each other's guts. It was brutal. There were fights and ejections all the time. and It was just awful. Culminating in the senior night debacle where many Lewiston players were ejected for abusing the officials and just being dirty pieces of shit and, and it was just, yeah. And then we stopped playing Lewiston for a long time. <laughs> and boy, the times have changed because in that game yesterday, we played Lewiston for the first time in a long time and we just curb stomped him. Our, our players played at like maybe 70% effort and won six to nothing. So the Bears are two and one in this tournament facing a Seattle team that's a complete unknown. I believe the Seattle team also went two and one in this tournament, beating two of the weakest teams, the teams in the uh, seven slot and the eight slot this morning. Bears are in the three, four game. Cristeros, hated Cristeros, the Cristeros Christians. Uh, they got they put two teams in this tournament so they split up their roster and put two teams in this is their home tournament and they are the one and two seeds and uh, uh, they'll be playing after this so I mean you know it's not like they don't deserve to be one and two they're very good <laughs> uh, very very good players on those teams so. the Bears are without 
uh, two of their best players um, were both related to sort of coronavirus caution. Uh, Kai, uh, I think, is isolating because of a contact or something like that is what I've heard. I don't know. And Elon is not playing in games as of yet this year just because he is... Uh, uh, his family needs to be very, very cautious about uh, this whole virus thing. So, Bears have started their warm-up, and so have the tri uh, Seattle team. So I guess I'll watch the Seattle team for a minute here. They're doing that sort of uh, two forwards circle around against 1D uh, kind of thing. Um, pretty shoddy. <laughs> passing stuff so far. Very weak shots, at least from that individual. So, there's a, yeah, okay. <laughs> and let's, let me go ahead and say the Seattle team looks like it might be their first few times on the ice in terms of their warm up. Pretty, pretty sloppy. Looks like they've got about three, at least three full lines of skaters and one goaltender. We have two and a half full lines of skaters and two goaltenders. It's very likely what we'll see at the beginning of the game is Caden will come in at goalie until the first whistle goes. Uh, that gets him a legal roster, so they have to have a certain number of rosters. Uh, uh, appearances in order to qualify to play in the state high school tournament and that's really what Mark's end game for the whole season is is um, you know playing our best hockey at the end of the season in the high school tournament and trying to win two years ago when uh, Jacob was a senior they won the B flight championship state championship last year they were moved up to the A flight and not allowed to pay, play in the B flight and we thought oh we're going to get killed they made it to the championship game and I believe lost by a goal. So uh, this, this tournament, although they want them to play at maximum effort and try to win and all of that kind of stuff, um, all it is is just trying to practice, get better, tune things up, uh, roster all of the qualifying players so they have enough games to play for state. So we'll see Caden until the first whistle, and then they'll pull him and then give Nick the rest of the game. Normally when the goalies are not worried about, Caden was injured at the beginning of the year, so um, he's trying to catch up in terms of uh, rostered game appearances. Um, normally Nick and Caden, when, when everything is normal, just alternate games. And what they do is, uh, if one guy's struggling, they'll, they'll pull themselves. <laughs> just be like, Nick will skate out and be like, Caden, I just let in three goals in the first period. It's your turn. <laughs> so uh, I, I really enjoy, I think, uh, Caden and Nick as the goalie tandem. Uh, very, very supportive of each other. And, and uh, um, yeah, so it's Caden's senior year, so a few more games for him and then There'll be a lot of tears at the end of this year. We lose a lot of uh, players that are sort of the emotional core of the team. All right, the warm-up's done. Caden's heading for his net. <coughs> Looks like Ian and Amanda will start on defense, and Colden, Luke, and Colin will start on forwards. The Bears, as of the home team, are attacking away from me. I'm in an elevated balcony surrounded by Seattle fans uh, overlooking the home goaltender from behind and facing a long, long ways away the Seattle goaltender. The puck is down. and It's up for grabs in the neutral zone. Colin gets a hold of it at center ice and pokes it deep. Now it's a scramble in the offensive zone. They get it out. Ian's got control in the neutral zone. He tries to get it back in. Another sort of upper grab scramble as Colden force forces a turnover and then gets leveled. <coughs> gets back up though and gets it deep. Luke gets possession. It's Colden charging in. 
defenseman swats it away, and then another giant collision between a, a Seattle player and Luke. Centering pass. And I haven't seen an intentional pass yet this game. <laughs> As Ian passes it to Colden. There's one, passes it to Luke. He spins away from a check. Amanda now in our zone, passes it D to D to Ian. Bounce pass to Chad, who up to Luke, who evades a check and drops it for Chad. Chad will get a shot, misses the net. Puck wings all the way out as we get a defensive line change. Tucker now on D in our zone, passes it up to Chad, but it's in his skates, and now a line change for Seattle, and it's just a yard sale as they wanted to avoid the <laughs> six men on the ice as the puck was coming over to their bench, and so two of their players just dove head first into their own bench. Nice. Really scrambly hockey game so far. Uh, now Seattle has a chance here as they advance it in. Ellis pokes it away. Now it's up for grabs in the corner. Mack will get it behind her net. Backhands it around to Chad at the hash. He has a look, has some time. Nice little pass, but it's in Max skates. And transition attack now for Seattle. They've gained the zone. Now Tucker's gonna get it in the corner. Bounce pass to Chad again. Tries to do a blow by and fails. Falls down. Matt behind our net. Long uh, thing here with no whistle is Mac backhand pass to Chad. He gains the zone, tries to beat a defenseman, loses possession, gets it back. Behind the net, he's got Mac in the slot. He knocks a defenseman over, gets a shot. Goal. So a uh, two minute, 20 second uh, uh, whistle free thing there as Chad takes it end to end and finally puts one in top shelf on the blocker side just over the goalie's shoulder. And at this point, Caden will exit having successfully rostered himself and here comes Nick. No shots for Seattle in that game. Really only one run that qualifies for the Bears as the others missed the net. Holden gains his own. Whips it over to Colin, who tries a shot one time from the high slot, but fans it. Seattle now. Neutral zone turnover. Colin gets it back, puts it back in the zone. Luke, the fourth forecheck pressure in the corner. Colin centering pass. There goes Colden. Now Colin centering pass up to Ian in the high slot. He fires it high and wide of the net. Now Luke. Boarded, no call. Taken down from behind, no call. Holden pokes it away as Luke gets back up. Evades an open ice check and passes it to Holden in the corner. Finally, Seattle gets it and clears it. Get it to center ice and Micah disrupts possession briefly. And then Seattle chips it deep. Holland skating a little casually to the corner. Gets it up to Luke, but now it's to Seattle. They get a shot glove saved by Nick. <laughs> and then... <laughs> so a guy comes in. He's getting worked by the refs right now. They're going to they're gonna call a penalty on him. No. They, okay, so number 29 came in. Nick had the glove safe for a full second, and he came in and tried to snow Nick. <laughs> and the officials were just letting him have it. They didn't give him a penalty as Chad gains his zone again. Evade the check, gets a shot, save. Ellis with a nice keep, wrister, tempted deflection, shot by Chad, save. Ryan's there, as, uh, and again, another shot by Ellis, and it's blocked by a defenseman, and here comes Seattle on a transition attack, but Amanda steals it, chips it up to Mack. Bears clear the zone, and Seattle hits it hard off one of our players, so now it's behind Nick in, the, in, in, uh, in our zone here. It's Mack, center, of it. oh, Ma uh, Chad passed it to Mack, and Matt couldn't handle it. Ryan gets a hold of it though. Dumps it deep. Line change for the Bears. Golden, turnover, or forces a turnover, I should say. Back to Tucker in our zone. Makes a pass. 
the streaking Colden at center ice, but Colden is stick checked and it goes all the way down. No icing though, because it was touched. Amanda puts it back in, Bears clear. On the four check again, 10-15 left, the Bears are up by one. Luke streaking in, he's got one man to beat. Shot, save, rebound, cleared. Allen loses possession along the boards. And Seattle gets it out. Micah's got to win a foot race here, he does. And now it's Colden in our zone. Pass over to Tucker. And he tries to make a pass and it's not fast enough and uh, it's blocked, dangerous uh, pass block there right in front of Nick, but then Tucker clears it. Seattle. <laughs> so this could be too many men against Moscow as they were coming in the door on a line change and the Seattle player lofted it from their zone and hit and hit our player in the butt as he was stepping off the ice, but no call. Face-off win here for Seattle just outside our zone. They have it at center ice, trying to get it deep. The <laughs> guy tries to come in on Mac and just gets hammered. And there is a whistle. We'll see what the call is. Looks like it maybe was offsides. I don't. They're going to call a penalty on Mac. No, no penalty. I'm good because I was like that kid ran into Mac and then fell down. It's off win by the Bears. Tucker bounce pass up to Ryan. He does poke it clear. So it's a three on two for the Bears. Ryan streaking down the right side. He has Chad backhand pass shot. It's the net. Nice pass by Ryan. Tucker with a great keep as the forward was trying to break it out past him. Now it's Micah's turn to try to keep it in on the other side of the blue line. Gets it in, but Seattle intercepts it. And Micah again. No, it's Mac. Mac loses possession. Now it's in the neutral zone. Micah over to Tucker in the defensive zone. Tucker, nice pass to Chad up to center ice. Chad's going to go across. Gain the zone on the left side as the D changes. He's at the left hash. Beats the man at the circle. Gets a shot save. 8.45 left. Bears up by one. Micah, weak wrister on net. Block. Actually, sorry, that was Amanda. Now, Seattle on the attack is Holland covering for a defenseman, stops it. Lead pass from Chad to Mack, he's a miss. And Amanda will have to collect it in the right corner of our defensive zone. Wings it around for Colden, he easily dekes one guy. Backhand pass to Mack, who wasn't expecting it, and uh, Mack will go get a change. Amanda up to Colden, very nice. Cross ice to Colin, he can't handle it. Luke collects the loose change, gains his own, beats one man, puts a weak shot on, misses. Now Ian all alone up at the right point. Rister, defensive deflection, goal. Ian put a wrister on, Luke tried to deflect it and missed. The goalie made that first save, but Colden was camping back door, put the rebound in. 2 nothing Bears, 7.49 left in the first period of the 3-4 game. I think Nick has actually maybe, maybe, maybe two shots on Nick so far? I don't know. They win the face off. Then Seattle takes it and pokes it deep. Ian rubs a guy off the puck as there's a shot save. Ian takes away the rebound. He's going to attack the neutral zone with speed. Gains the offensive zone. Almost takes out the ref. He's down behind the goal line. Chad is covering for him on D. Seattle will get possession. Matt checks a guy off the puck. No call. That was a worry. <laughs> As Amanda gets hit from behind. No call. Chad now. Defensive zone. Passes up to Ian, center ice. Nice little pass to Mac. He's at center. Shot, save, rebound is loose, covered. Looks like it'll be a line change here for the Bears with 703 left in the first period. Bears up 2 nothing in control largely. Seattle has gained his own several times, but not really with clean possession. And so, not very many shots on Nick. 
shot off the face off by Luke. It goes high and wide. Holden recovers behind the net and then gets rubbed off. Puck's going to come out to Ellis at the point. He takes it back down to the half wall and then it gets past him. It's going to be icing on Seattle. And uh, Holden, Tucker, and Colin, and Ellis out there right now. Another attempted shot off the faceoff fails. Tucker stops at the blue line again. Slow wind up. Shot into traffic. Blocked wide off of a knee pad. Seattle will wing it around. Tucker again. This time he puts it into the corner smartly. Four checking situation here. And so <laughs> uh, they iced it again. Um, off the boards and it uh, it was looking like it was coming in on Nick and uh, so Nick came out and you know, was going down to save it and then since it was actually a couple feet wide of the net and stood up and let it go for a nice and offensive zone face off to my right 627 left in the first there's up 2 nothing. Santa wins the face off cleanly what will they do? Bounce pass. Ellis intercepts it in the neutral zone. It's up to Colden. He's got one man to beat, and he has Luke. He beats the man. Backhander. Save. Very nice save. And then it finally goes in on the rebound. Colden following his shot, his backhand shot, as it comes back to him. So now it's 3 nothing Bears. Comes out to the dot to receive the string of high fives after the Bears score. As is tradition. Wholesale line change here. Chad passes it back to Ian. Ian in our defensive zone. Big stretcher and misses Ryan, but it's going to go in on net, so no icing. The goalie clears it. Ian at center ice. Beats one guy, takes it in. He's going to have a slapper shot, saved. Ian gets the rebound, but then loses it. And Seattle will clear it. Micah forces a guy to the outside and deflects the centering pass up to Ryan, who's on the attack. Ryan gains his own, tries to cross over, hits it to Mac, and Mac gets checked as he shoots. And it's wide. Ian intercepts the attempted clear. Shot save. Micah way down low. Centering pass attempt. It's intercepted. Seattle now. Seattle chips it. Looks like a desperation icing to get a line change. Both teams have changed in 11 offensive zone faceoff with 5 11 left in the first period. The Bears are up 3 0. Nick now doing ballistic stretching in his crease. He has nothing else to do. <laughs> Nick hates his guy going for He doesn't get any shots. Seattle wins a face off. They're going to take it around their net and try to wing it around the half wall. Holden disrupts that plan. And it comes out to Amanda. She tries to put it on net. The deflection by Luke goes wide. All in now. Battling in the corner. Falls down. Seattle two on two attack in the neutral zone. Disrupted by Ellis. He's going to take it across the blue line. Right side circle. Shot. Rebound. Amanda now at the left point. Puts it deep in the corner. Bears in a four-checking situation. Behind the opponent's net. They wing it around. And another icing against Seattle. Line change again by the Bears. And by Seattle. 426 left in the first. So far, most of the action that Nick has had is stopping the puck on an icing and gently tapping it back to the official. Left side, offensive zone face off. Tucker's in the defense shooting position here as the Bears win it cleanly. Back to Tucker, but he fans it. It's a breakaway. It's a breakaway. They're captain all alone on Nick. Save. Tried to go five hole on Nick and Nick clenched the old sphincter. 
So that was a defensive mistake. They won it back to Tucker, and Tucker turned it over. Defensive zone faceoff here, shot. Very wide of the net. As Micah ties a guy up in the corner. And uh, Seattle does come out with it briefly, and Tucker disrupts that centering pass. Oh my God, it's right there. That went all the way around uh, 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 high on the glass, hit a stanchion, and bounced in front of the net from behind Nick. No harm though, as Ryan clears the zone, and uh, Micah now, it's back in our zone. Terrible pass by Micah, almost intercepted and gives up a shot attempt. Now it is, a, nope, he fanned it. Micah went D to D across the mouth of the net as Ryan has a breakaway. He's getting back check, shot, and he hits it up out of, that should be a high sticking call in my opinion, but I guess not. Uh, against Ryan, by the way. Centering pass attempt by the Bears, he's intercepted, and now an errant pass saves the day as Tucker clears the zone. Chad comes in. Now it's Ian. Pass up to Colin. Pass to Matt. But it's a saucer pass. Those are terrible. Don't do saucer passes. Pass it on the ice. Oh! <laughs> Seattle attempting to get it deep and get a change, but it hit an official skate. Ian with the attempted stretch pass. It's not icing because it was tipped. Seattle in their zone with speed. Guy has to beat a couple of guys. He puts it deep. And now pursues Ian. And uh, Amanda will get it as Ian is taken down. And then that guy, number 29, throws an elbow and hits Amanda in the head. So, uh, <laughs> and then it's a late check by number 29 uh, on Luke, no call. So a uh, number 29 should be careful. He's not a big dude. And when you, now it's tripping on uh, Seattle and then uh, Nick was headed for the bench as the sixth man couldn't get that there. So, you know, they're going to put up with a lot, but can you throw an elbow to Amanda's head? Um, you know, Chad broke a guy's collarbone for doing that uh, in the first game. Literally, Chad went in. He, got, he launched into the guy on a check and took it get out. The season goal and broke his collarbone. So, <laughs> there's power play here. Tucker again in the shooter's position. Goes to Chad, he gets a shot, saved. 2-12 left in the first period. The Bears are up 3-0. Puck's all tied up. And then their goal line, it finally comes out. They get possession briefly before Chad gets it, passes it over to Mack, attempts a shot, it's into some shin pads. And now Tucker's got it at the blue line cleanly, puts it on net, save. Backhand pass attempt by Ryan from the corner is blocked. So Ryan now cleanly in the corner, backhand pass, and then now the checking is really started by Seattle, so this could get a little salty. Uh, Seattle finally gets possession and wings it around. Tucker is out of position, and they have successfully cleared it with a minute line left in the penalty and a minute 23 left in the first period. Tucker's got lots of time. Uh, not a very smart pass is intercepted, and then Tucker clears it. Tucker's uh, telegraphed a couple, as has Micah. A bit of a line change here for the Bears. Luke over to Colden. Colden turns it over. Another breakaway here. And Seattle collects it, and Tucker gets it finally. Wings it around, but it's to uh, Seattle player. Now it's Luke. Luke on the attack. 27 seconds left in the power play. He evades a check and gains his own. Takes it across the high slot. Gets through everybody. Save. And Colden can't quite handle the rebound. And the Bears are now offside. Micah in the neutral zone. Passes across ice to Colin. Bears have cleared the game of zone. Colin attempting to do a centering pass with seven seconds left in the power play. It's blocked. 20 seconds left here as now Ian's got it. Here comes that guy, and then Ian tries to pass it back door to Colden, and uh, two nice saves. 10 seconds left. Another penalty here. Nick clears. 4.8 seconds left in the first, and the Seattle team will have another penalty. 
that I'm happy about. Yep, cross checking is the call. I didn't see the penalty. And now the uh, official is talking to the player in the box, explaining why he called what he called, I assume. 4.8 seconds left in the first period. Offensive zone face off to my right. We might have a shoot it off the face off situation here. We do. And puck comes out. Micah gets one more shot. Save. So Micah, very nice Micah. He got that shot away nice and quick and got it on net. The goalie made a nice play on it, but you know, it was before that buzzer went. So two shots in four seconds for the Bears off that face off. No good. It'll be a one minute 55 power play to start the second period. And this time the Bears will be attacking it towards me. And I'll see all the offensive action. Oh, better check me. situation here. I never know if anybody's even listening. No, not really. Huh, I don't care. Nope. So now the coaches are sort of chatting up as we have a one minute intermission before the next period. Uh, take a picture of myself by uh, broadcasting. <laughs> uh, assessment of the game. The Bears are the better team. Um, definitely outshot Seattle by quite a bit. Uh, zone position uh, advantage us by quite a bit. Nick made one really nice save. Uh, on a breakaway where the guy tried to go five full. That's the kind of thing that can, you know, you think you have the game in hand and you get one goal and then you let in one goal and then everybody you know. So, uh, there's been a few um, telegraphed, ill advised passes in our zone um, that are bit of a concern. Those are the kinds of mistakes that Cristeros always turns into goals. But this team not able to capitalize. 15 minute stop clock. The Bears now attacking towards me on a 1 minute 55 second power play. And they win the face off cleanly. And it's it's Luke at center ice. Back end pass. Back to my god. Boy this is a hot garbage right now. Turnover. And we're just fanning shit. And, yeah, that was terrible. I would immediately pull all these players off the ice and do a shift game. All right, our possession in the... And again, we make a pass and can't handle it. And again, we make a long pass. And this time, uh, we at least get it in the zone. It's Chad at the hash marks. Centering pass to Ryan. It hops off his stick, though, and now Seattle can clear it. Micah at our blue line. He's going to get four check pressure. He passes it over to Ian, who backhands it to nobody, and Seattle will be able to clear it once again. So, again, Chad uh, now has to wait till Luke clears the zone. Now he enters D to D sort of uh, stuff to Colin. Drop pass. Very nice drop pass by Colin to Micah. D to D again to Ian. Ian's got his ring. Uh, yeah, very slap shot and nice save. I knew that little flurry was really good. Uh, Colin, nice drop pass to Micah. Micah could have taken the shot. Instead, he made that second pass that's so important on that power play over to Ian. Ian got a quality look and a slap shot, and the goalie just made the save with no rebound. We had a guy there for the rebound. But 48 seconds remain in the power play. Bears are up 3 nothing at the top of the second. As Bears win the draw, and Colden tries to get a shot but misses. Clear the zone is Amanda at center ice. Puts it in for Colin. He gets rubbed off the puck, and Seattle will get possession here. Ellis keeps it in, tries to put it on net. It's deflected by a defenseman. Holden in the corner. Cycling it around behind their net for Colin. And Colin's not fast enough. And uh, Nick will collect it and pass it over to Matt. Nick loves to do that. He loves to be part of the play. He loves to get that puck and pass it. As 
Bolden now gains the zone. He's got Collin on the far side, dropped to Mack. Mack will put it into the corner and the Bears will try to set it up. Bolden, he put a, uh, Nick comes out and clears it, attempting a stretch pass. Uh, and that'll expire the penalty and uh, Mack's gonna go to the box for an illegal check. for interference. Oh, oh, no. All right, so now the Bears are on a penalty kill. Uh, playing much like they did against Lewiston, uh, I believe on about 70% of the good habit. Seattle wins the draw. And they've got it in the corner. Pass back to the D. Weak shot, attempted tip. Nick gloves it down. And then we're gonna have an ejection. As Tucker just suplexes the guy from behind for no reason. I have no idea why Tucker did that. I, that was, wow. Nick, the puck was like bounced up really, really high. And uh, uh, Nick went up and gloved it. And the kid was in front of Nick, but I don't think doing anything. And Tucker, yeah, he's, Tucker just got a 10 and two. That was, I have no idea what the hell was going on there. So it's a five on three now for the Bears. Uh, and they're gonna put Mike in the box to serve it. That was really weird. Like a, it was a harmless play. I mean, Tucker grabbed the guy from behind and threw him onto the ground. Maybe the guy hit Nick in the face. That's what I'm hearing in the fans yell. <laughs> or maybe Tucker was justified. As Luke gains possession in the five on three kill and ices it. So maybe, t yeah, I mean, that, Tucker will do that if you actually, you know, hit our goalie or something like that. So Chad retreats. And turns it over, he retreated all the way to our zone and then turned it over, essentially giving them, a, a saved by Nick, giving him a chance. And Chad uh, gets it out of the zone, but doesn't ice it. Seattle now attacking from the neutral zone, the game. Two Bears engage, right at our blue line. Luke gains possession and ices it. Now he's going to forecheck. 57 seconds left in that first penalty to Colin as Luke comes in, tries to rub a guy off the puck and can't quite get there. Seattle, neutral zone attack, three on two with Luke back checking, they chip it deep. Nick will come out, get it behind the net and stop it for Ian, pass it back to Ian and Ian will ice it and put it actually on net. Easy save for the goaltender though. And then we got another Cross check against Seattle. <laughs> so it's getting a little uh, a little salty here. So it could be fun to call this game for the rest of the time. So it's gonna be four on three for 33 seconds. And then it will be four on four for 46 seconds. And then the Bears will have a man advantage for about a minute 10. Bears win the offensive zone faceoff, facing a four on three, but Seattle quickly gets it back. They're behind their net, staging things up. They go in front of their goalie. Mack pressuring, pressuring. And as this guy's just trying to beat Mack, <laughs> he refuses to pass it. This, he just refuses to pass it. He wants to go end to end. So number six has decided he's gonna go end to end. Amanda. Takes him to the side, makes him not be able to shoot, and then Nick saves it. And then he runs into Nick. And then he runs into Nick. <laughs> that guy is small and Nick is huge. Nick's eating bur burritos bigger than that guy. <laughs> and he's number six is going to the box for interference. So <laughs> it's getting chippy. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a shame. You do? You, the one That's a shame. The officials are, are tightening it up too. I mean, both teams I think, need to take a deep breath and just play. 
It is now four on three for the Bears as Colden evades, evades. Passes it back to Amanda and they'll try to set something up. Pass to Mack. Mack over to Colden. Colden's. And they're going to call that offsides. So very choppy right now at this game. Lots of whistles, no flow. We're going to have five on three here in three seconds. As the Bears pop up the face off. They finally get it. Colin, one man to beat. Down at the hash, he tries again a blind pass by Colin, and uh, that allows Seattle to ice it. So, five on three here. Now Amanda with possession. Over to Ellis. Ellis circling. He's going to take it left side. He takes it in. Drop to Mac. Gets the shot. Save. Colin. Pass, nice pass up to Amanda. She skates it in top of the circles. Puts it in, it's blocked by one of their defense girls. Amanda with a pinch, dangerous pinch. It's all up to Ellis to save the day. And he does. As Golden gets it, stretchy. Mack, slapper, goal. Slap shot goal from Mack as he crossed the blue line up high above the stick side. So that's a five on three goal. There's up now four, nothing. 9.47 remaining in the second. That'll take one of the two penalties off the clock. But the Bears will still have a 5 on 4. And a bit of a celebration there for Mac after he scored. And Mac doesn't usually do that unless he wants to let the other team know something. So it may, it may mean that there's, being wor there's words being said down there. The face off it's so nice one cleanly by the Bears very nice pass by Micah over to Chad he'll get the shot off very nice block by that defense girl Ian now pinching in tried to keep it in takes it down to the hash centering pass nobody's home Ryan gets stick checked loses position possession and uh, Chad and Chad goes in off sides he didn't realize that Luke was skating out of the zone a little casually so Luke, if you're listening to this, you know, I see you tapping your chest saying it was my fault. And it was, because you thought you had more time, and you did not. 9.25 left in second. Bears are up. They should be up 4 nothing, but the scoreboard, they haven't put the goal up. So they're on a power play for another 30 seconds. As uh, Seattle turns it over, and Chad skates it in on net. Now he's behind the net as Ryan's going to try to post up and screen. Ryan screening. Micah. Passes it back to Chad. Chad quite, quite handle it. It squeaks out. Bears will have to clear. That's the end of the power play. Chad turns it over briefly. They chip it deep. Bears now have to retrieve the puck in their defensive zone corner. Chad gets it. Tries to hit, uh, hit Ryan. And eventually now the Bears have got it. It's Luke. It's Luke, Chad peels away to get a change. So Luke's all alone right now as most of the Bears are getting a change. And Luke evades a check. And Colden streaks in behind the net. Colden, good hands, very nice pass. Oh, Colin. Very nice pass to Colin Stick. And uh, that'll be icing on the on the Seattle team as Colin did get a very nice quick snapshot away but it uh, went up over the corner. And Collins had a couple of nice opportunities this turn. I don't really like to see him put one in. Be an offensive zone face off to my left. Mac, Collin, Holden, Amanda, and Ellis. Face off win by the Bears. Ellis put it in so many skates. Now he's coming in. Backhand pass to Holden. Shot save. Rebound control good. <coughs> There's the four on the scoreboard now with 8.15 left in the second period. Bears up 4 nothing. Offensive zone face off to my right. One by Seattle. Holden steals it. Oh, he, again, he tries to hit Colin. Colin will have a high slot chance now. Ellis has to race in and punch it deep. It's going to come around to Amanda. She'll tap it deep. Colin. No, it's Mac. Sorry. Mac. Shot save. Colin. Backhand bounce pass. Very nice to Ellis. Ellis toe. Can't quite get it away. And 
forward blocks it and now Seattle on the attack. They put it deep, Amanda gets in the corner. This is, oh my God. <laughs> a giant collision between Amanda and another player in the corner. It is a penalty on that player. I think it's a... Uh, I believe, I mean it was, I wasn't, it was well after the puck was gone so I didn't really see it. I'm gonna see what the official calls, it's head contact. That'll be uh, five in a game against that player I believe. Big collision with Amanda in the corner. Now the guy's coming, going to talk to uh, uh, Amanda. It's just a two minute penalty. Yeah, okay, so it's a 10 and two. So they're putting another play in the box to serve the two. Number 15 with the 10. And again, it's like, why would you go after Amanda? She, she, I get she's really good, but she's really small. She's never cheap, never instigates. This is Micah, loses possession briefly, and then Ryan gets it back. Bears now in a four checking position. Seattle wings it around, Micah beats the guy, dives down, and he gets, he draws an interference penalty as the puck was very far away, and uh, that guy came in and uh, uh, checked Micah cleanly, but uh, without an attempt to play the puck. Uh, and so the puck was a good six feet away from Micah as the guy delivered the check against the boards and so again the Bears are in a five on three situation so offensive zone face off to my left one by Seattle but Ryan blocks the clearing attempt and here's Micah again and he's beat so it's a it's a one on one with only Ian and Ian pokes it away and then Nick pokes it away. And uh, now Ryan on the attack. He's got Luke. He's got Chad behind him. Drops it for Chad. Chad skates it in. Shot. Blocked. Goal. Goal by Ryan. Off the rebound. <coughs> on the five on three. Chad put the shot on and Ryan who's done, he does, Ryan has become an extremely, this year, an extremely effective uh, uh, front of the goalie screen, crease, get the rebound, tie up the defenseman kind of guy, big, strong. Uh, yeah. Five on four now, there's up five nothing. Golden evades one man but can't evade the second. And now it's up for grabs in the neutral zone. Seattle comes away with it, quickly turns it over, and now Colin with space puts it deep, almost hits the official in the face. <laughs> Golden comes in, back to Mac. He tries to hit Colin. Now Colin again in the in the you know in the slot, circling, circling, circling. As Mac's trying to get possession of that puck and get it to him. Now it's Golden. Backhand pass to Amanda. She saves the zone possession and again gets checked after the play. A lot, lot of hitting after the play here. It's fallen, pass to Amanda. Shot, block. Nice keep by Ellis, puts it back in the corner. Mack in pursuit, and they do ice it. So Nick will come out, play the puck. Just leave it for Amanda, she circles. Bears will get a partial change. Pass up to Mack, he gains the zone, drops it for Chad. Chad hits, oh, Colin again. Colin puts a shot on, just misses that top corner. Chad, cross ice, do a diving Ellis. Shoots it, rebound, Chad shoots it wide. Mac gets possession briefly and then battles against two players. It's in their skates and he wings it around the boards. Amanda will try to pinch here, he does. She gets taken down, but not maliciously. Chad attempts to Tip one, no go. Oh, giant hit by number 21 on Chad. I don't know why that was a, an illegal hit. I felt like that was a very hard open ice 
but clean check. I don't know why they called that. Maybe, maybe you got him in the head. Uh, the only thing I could think of, okay, so there's a timeout called by Seattle. Um, I, the only thing I could think of there is that that got his uh, shoulder up into Chad's head. Um, but that guy's going to get a 10 too. There's our 5 0 in the 448 left in the second. Another penalty on Seattle. Or move on. If I were Mark and Derek and Jim, I would just be telling the, telling the kids, look, just don't just play hockey. Score goals. Don't don't get emotional. Uh, I mean, at some point, though, you can get, you know, you re receive uh, illegal hits one too many times. And I still, I, w I can't wait to hear the Tucker story, though. Because <laughs> for my, I mean, it was on the far end of the rink. And so all I saw was Nick catch it up high above his head, standing up. And the guy was in front of him. And then all of a sudden, Tucker grabs the guy around his face from behind and throws him to the ground. And I was like, uh, okay. So. <laughs> and they got to get another player out here. Here we go. So it'll be five on three. Offensive zone face off. Uh, Chad's talking to a guy and it, he says, yeah, that, that hit was uh, up in my chin and that's why the penalty happened. So, and then he fist bumped his opponent. So it seems like there, it, even though the, there's a lot of like hits and stuff, it seems like the players are getting along, along okay. Oh, Luke squeaks one in. Off the face off, Luke got in. Luke got in the uh, five hole, and the officials are telling the Bears, stop celebrating in their end. Just get out. No need for emotions to escalate any further. As Luke puts one in just underneath that goaltender's pad. So it's 6 nothing Bears. That'll clean up the power play situation, and they're even strength again. And they drop the puck, but blow the face off dead. Uh, I believe just early drop. An early drop on the change is still happening. Like that, so. There we go. Face off win cleanly by the Bears. Ian, backhand pass. Over to Ryan. He puts it deep. Luke will collect it and falls down. Seattle reverses direction. Bounce pass off to uh, the little guy as Ryan comes in to. Luke takes it, passes it over to Chad. Very nice deflection by the defenseman to prevent that. And uh, Ian doing a good job so far of keeping it in, but it finally pops out. Chad now, cross-ice pass to Ryan. He gets it in. He's got Luke, but nobody else. Shot, save, rebound, goal. Popped out of the goalie's glove, and Luke was right there, and he punched it in. 7 nothing Bears, 3.53 left in the second. So... Celebrations and stuff have stopped. Uh, and the Bears just getting out of the zone. Again, you don't want uh, <laughs> when it's lopsided. You, you don't want to get all goofy and dumb in front of the opposing goalie when he's on the left leg. For grabbing down the neutral zone, it pops free. Ellis over to Amanda in our zone. She has a lot of time here. Very nice pass. Feathered to Colin. He gains his zone. Passes it over. To tape to tape to Mac. Shot save. Beautiful pass by Amanda. Feathering it through two defensemen to Colin who cross ice pass to Mac who wrists it on net. Offensive zone face off to my left. Amanda in the shooter's position. 
Face off one to Collin, it's gonna come out. Uh, Amanda trying to disrupt possession. They do get it out, but Ellis now takes it in. Beats one guy. The rest converge on him though. And uh, finally it's turned over. Bolden collects a loose change behind the net. And skates it in on the goalie and then is bodied out of the play by number 19. He loses his stick and kicks it free. And Amanda with a very nice uh, play to break up the, the breakout as uh, Seattle's now got it to hash and they clear it with an icing. So, 250 left in the second period. Bears up 7 nothing. Nick in the T pose. One hand on either post end of his net. Standing straight up casually, just like I'm so bored and cold. After this, we'll be going back to Antrina's house where he can shower, tidy things up, and go home. Micah with a really great keep to put it back down in behind their net. You know, they, Seattle gets clean possession. Very nice little breakup pass by that girl. The guy can't handle it, and now they do have possession in our end at the hash marks right side. And we're going to get a penalty, I think, on the Bears. As I think that's Ian comes in and delivers a check. And the puck was gone, I'm not sure, or maybe they're just saying, hey, I'm going to get a penalty. Roughing is the call in there. Uh, coincidentals, actually. Coincidentals. So, coincidental penalties uh, for that little bit of uh, activity in the corner. And we'll have to send out another player. Here comes Colin. Not looking uh, very, uh, <laughs> very graceful. <laughs> sort of almost falls over the boards to come out. 227 left in the second. Bears up 7 nothing. Defensive zone faceoff is won by Seattle, and the centering pass is a shot attempt. Blocked. And it looks like Luke's going to come out with it with Chad trailing. Holland on his left. Luke beats everybody. Goes in on the goalie. Save. Seattle at the hash. You get into a neutral zone, Colin. Passes it over to Chad. Turnover though. Seattle, center ice. Tries to dangle Chad at the blue line. Now we're ending up with Colin with possession. Very nice cross ice pass to Chad. Chad's going to gain the zone with Mac trailing. Drop pass to Mac. Shot deflected off Chad's shin pad and almost in. Chad in the corner. They just can't knock Chad down. He's too strong. Micah chops it out of the air as he puts it on net and Ryan deflects it, but it's wide. Ryan again doing his work in front of that goaltender. Very nice pass. Shot by Colden. Just too much traffic. Doesn't get through. Seattle finally ices it, but it's on Nick, so. Nick with a lovely bounce pass to Mac. Mac's gonna have a breakaway because of that, but Mac peels away. That was a sportsmanship play by Mac. Um, he, he peeled away and let the, the girl have it. Um, we don't need a breakaway right now. As Luke puts another shot on net, save. Seattle with possession. Wins it around. Trying to break it out here. They do get it out, but it pops over that guy's stick, and Luke collects, no, it's Colden collects it. He gets into the corner. It's checked off the puck. Nice legal check there by Seattle. Luke, though, gets it out. Seattle. 81 has it. Two on two. Put it in the corner. Around Ellis. Shot. Goal. They got it with 15 seconds left. 15.7 seconds left. Really off-angle shot, and it just goes in. I don't know what happened there with Nick. This is why Nick hates these kind of games get two shots per period. You got no momentum. You got no rhythm. So 
Seattle Braves, the scoring drought, with 15 seconds left in the second period. A lot of penalty box activity as they clear kids out of the boxes and stuff like that. And Luke wins a faceoff. And Seattle collects it, 11 seconds left, and then they're now in our zone. Evades, turns it over, they're gonna get a shot attempt here. Nope, Ellis disrupts the play, two seconds left, that'll do it. 7-1 is the score at the end of the second period. Almost certainly we're gonna have run time uh, third period with a score differential like this. This is why I love the Cheney rope. Because uh, you can hear this stuff. You can hear what the officials call. You can hear their explanations to the scorekeeper. Sometimes you can hear the uh, coaches. When the kids are in the penalty box, you can interview them. <laughs> No Cheney rink this year for us. Thanks, coronavirus. Caden and Nick chatting here. As we reverse ends. And we will now attack away from me. There's Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Caden. Standing above Nick Good, about bud. like 30 feet. You trying to get back over there? No. We're going to start the third with Chad, Luke, and Ryan. Uh, there's Tucker back out with Ellis. As it's up for grabs in the neutral zone, and the Bears dump it in. Go check pressure by Ryan. And now Chad has it. Comes back out to Tucker. He puts it into the corner. Give Seattle a chance to break it out. And they do. So now it's a three on two with one back checker. Comes in on Tucker. And there's a save by Nick. <coughs> Tucker now. Let's the just lets the guy have it in the corner. I don't understand why Tucker does that. Luke now on the attack. Gains the zone. Passes to his right to Ryan. Backhand pass. Disrupted. And again, now we're gonna have another breakaway. They beat Tucker. Ellis takes the pass away. Saves. Okay. Ellis takes the puck away from behind the net, passes it up, but it's to their point man. Shot blocked by Luke. And he just ices it to get a change. 14 or 1348, and again, yes, the clock does run with a 7-1 lead in the third. Run clock, so they'll be out of here before we know this. Yeah, normally what the defense will do is they'll hand you their stick and play. And they'll play with that one. Not really. Not really. It just got it. Yeah, Ryan Mack. Seattle wins the faceoff. And let's put it into the corner. No, it's Ian, Mack, Micah, Colin, Colden. Pass by Colin to Colden. Colden with speed. Takes it left. Circles, goes in on the goaltender. Tries to wrap it around, can't quite do it, loses possession. Breakout opportunity here for Seattle. It's disrupted by Ian twice. And then Ian pinches and gets beat. So now it's uh, 2v2, but Mack is back on D. He checks the guy off the puck and he's getting his stick held. <laughs> Save. Held. <laughs> is uh so guy, uh, the guy uh, that Mac took down was holding Mac's stick, and instead of calling it, the officials just yelling, "Let go!" <laughs> just doesn't even call the penalty at this point. It's just like, let the clock go. Uh, Ryan, Chad, Ian, Luke, Micah, as the Bears break it out. Chad at center ice. 
from deep. Seattle will get it. Stick handling in their zone. Stretch pass here. Intercepted by Micah in the neutral zone. Passes. Ryan puts it deep. Ryan takes it behind the net. Centering pass attempt to Chad. Now a pass back to Ian at the point. Tries to put it on net. It's blocked. Ian again. At the point. He gets checked off the puck. Battling. Now there's two. It's in their skates. It comes out. It's, it's one and one against Micah. They're captain against Micah. And Micah wins the day. Micah wins the day. Very well played, Micah. Nice pass by Micah. Oh my God. Saved by Nick as Ryan passes it right to a guy in the slot who gets a shot off on Nick uncontested. Chad dipsy doodles one guy. It's Chad and Ian. Puts a shot on. It's a rebound. Ian can't quite get there though. Ian now down at the hash. He gets checked after the play. Again, the officials are not calling this at this point. The captain skating in again. Ellis this time disrupts the pass. <laughs> and they're going in for big checks, but so far so good. As Nick collects it. Seattle offside. The refs keep calling it and eventually as they, as they pressure, they call it. <laughs> and we're gonna do an intentional offsides here and move the face off all the way down to an offensive zone face off to my right. Mac, Holden, Colin, Amanda, and Ellis. Shot attempt off the face off. Amanda here, does bounce out on her. Passes it over to Mac, but Mac had not yet cleared the zone. Offsides, and then Amanda falls on the butt. <laughs> 10 7 left, Bears in control, 7 1. Face off just outside the offensive zone to the left. Bolden sk skating in uncontested. Top shelf right above the goalie's shoulder. Goal. No How reaction. Many is <laughs> <laughs> No high five line, nothing. <laughs> so we'll leave Amanda and Ellis out. We'll move uh, Chad, Luke, and Ryan in. 9.35, run clock left, 7-1 Bears, thank you. Seattle gets possession off the face off. Do you pass in their zone? Into the neutral zone. They get it deep, but Amanda stops it. Luke gets it. And then Luke is tripped. It's another penalty against Seattle. Now we're going to call it a hook, but it could be a trip or a hook. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> 909 left. 8 1 Bears. Wow. They have had so many penalties. We phase off just outside the offensive zone to my left. Nine minutes and ticking. Clean win. Back to Tucker. Tucker to Chad. Nice pass. Chad takes it in, centering pass to Luke. It's Micah, and he goes deep. Chad covers. Ryan battling for the puck. Seattle gets it out. Tucker can't quite keep it in. It's really hot. Backhand in the neutral zone turnover, and Seattle will take it in on Tucker. He disrupts possession. Seattle now in the neutral zone. Evades. Evades, evades, takes it down deep. You know, engaged by two men, it's a turnover. As Micah clears it all the way out to Luke, he leaves it for Chad. Chad gains the zone with Luke, puts it on net, misses actually. Is Colin back on B? Huh? Is Colin back on Chad B? receives a check, loses <laughs> possession briefly. <laughs> he does squeak out, Micah's there. Backhand pass to Chad, no good. Golden comes in. Golden gets his run. Golden has a look. Pass is disrupted. The Bears will have to clear as Ellis skates other side, gains the zone, circles, skates it in, loses possession, gets checked off the puck. Golden right in front of the net. He loses possession. And it's a battle between Ellis and two Seattle players. Puck comes out to Golden. Deep, Ellis. Battling. 
big guy, he's number 21, Ellis knocks him off the puck, it's Colden. Tries to put it to Colin. Colin though, gets checked off the puck. Micah gets beat and then trips a the guy, so it's an advantage here as Amanda takes a guy wide. Shot is wide. And there'll be a penalty on somebody for tripping, I'm sure. And there will be in a penalty kill situation. It's Ian for tripping. So Mac comes over, gives Nick some love, and we'll get a face off in the defensive zone. Mac, Chad, Tucker, and Luke. Again, the Bears right now playing at about uh, 50%, 60%. It's four on four, for 29 seconds. As Luke wins the face off, gets the shot, goal. Jeez, Luke. High side, left. Just sniped it. So. That's even strength, so we'll remain at four on four with 6.07 run clock left. Seattle sends out five, and that is a mistake. <laughs> it was an even strength goal as the Seattle penalty does expire before they drop the puck, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> So what they're saying is you've got to start with four and then the fifth guy can come out. And meanwhile, Ian's penalty tick, tick, ticking down as the puck dropped and then here comes that fifth guy. So now Luke shorthanded here. Scoots it through, Chad. Tucker playing really, really deep. He gets it at our blue line, lots of time. This time he just passes it right uh, up to Seattle. And uh, Tucker's gonna have another chance here in our defensive zone. His three Seattle players close on him. This time he gets it through to Chad. And uh, Seattle does get it deep, and now they're gonna forecheck as Mac is gonna go try to go get it. And Mac ices it. So 128 left, 450 left in the game. Uh, Bears coasting here. Chad at the hash, short-handed. Mac and Chad keep it in. Seattle now, they get it, and then they miss. They wave off the icing. Tucker. A slap shot pass up to Chad. Chad's still in our defensive zone. And because we're killing a penalty, Chad just waiting, and Chad, Chad puts it into the roof. <laughs> so. We're gonna get a defensive zone face off as the clock ticks away. Uh, <laughs> 4.06 left, 41 left in the uh, uh, man advantage for Seattle. I would say both teams coasting at this point, nobody cares. Amanda loses possession briefly behind the net. Centering pass. It's Deflected out to Ellis, who clears it. 22 seconds left in Ian's penalty. 3.43 left in the game. There is 9 to 1. Seattle now on attack with speed. Amanda says no. Kicks it up to Ellis. Miss. Ryan now in our zone. Circling around. Neutral zone. Even strength. It's rubbed off the puck as he gains the offensive zone though. Stops, puts it deep. 3-12 left, Ellis, down deep. Loses possession. Pressure there by Colin. Ellis comes away with it. Gets checked off the puck. 2.56 left. In the corner, Ellis going to get called for probably a hit from behind. And, uh, 2.43 left as they have to separate Ellis and another player. And uh, Ellis is going to go to the box for colliding with a player from behind. 2.30 left. Run time. So that'll be it for Ellis. Uh, nobody's in any particular hurry. <laughs> to get the face off.
four on four here, I guess. Could be five on five, but I guess they're doing four on four. Come on, Kyle. Anyway, clock's still ticking. Who cares? I mean, it's just like, oh my God, we're just wasting oh. time here at this point. Let's just go to the locker room, I guess. Anyway. Seattle's going to come away with possession after the faceoff. I think it is short lived as Colden steals the puck, passes it to Chad, shot, save, check. 23 left. They get another face off. Nick now just leaning. He hates this kind of game. 110 left. Nobody uh, very slow line changes. No one cares. Yeah, now they got too many men on the ice. <laughs> and now the official's like, no, you can't change that late. <laughs> 53 seconds remaining. Oh, yeah. yi, yi. Then they toss the center. I just. <laughs> Let's just go home at this point. Now a puck will drop. With and then the officials call a penalty. So this is going to be the end of the game. We're not even going to get another puck drop because uh, I guess maybe the, pl the Seattle player said something. They call him unsportsmanlike. Uh, 21 seconds. <laughs> now he's mad. Now another player comes out of the box. 15 seconds. He's tossed him. He tossed the player. So the game is going to end on run clock as a Seattle player gets tossed for mouthing off to the ref. And then he punches the glass. <laughs> and uh, so that was an ignoble end to a game. Bears win nine to one. I don't even know, Jim. Sleepwalking the way through the second and third period. There will be no handshake as the coronavirus thing. <laughs> So, they went blah, blah, blah. A uh, couple of fist bumps at the end. But <laughs> NHL right here. Uh, anyway, bye everybody. Bears go 3-1 in the tournament to take third place out of eight.